day. Today we will look at the load tech LT1240 and LT1270 load cell indicators. Functionally they are exactly the same therefore the setup would be exactly the same. So first off we have four buttons print F1, F2 and F3. These have secondary uses while inside the menu. For instance print is also the menu button, F1 is enter, F2 is left and F3 is up. To access the main menu hold the print or menu button for three to five seconds. You will then be greeted with the main menu. To navigate the main menu you need to press the up key or F3. First off we want to calibrate the load cell indicator. For that you need to go into LC CFG or load cell config. Once inside you'll be greeted with units. You can change this with the up key. For this exercise we'll be using kilograms. You can press enter. Next is the decimal point. You can move the decimal point with the up key. For the last bit we will go to the end of the menu LC Cal for load cell calibration. First we will be greeted by display low. This is the zero point of your load cell, meaning it'll almost always be zero. Next is the maximum capacity of your load cell. For instance, if you have four two tonners, this will be eight tons or 8,000 kilograms. You can change it by first choosing your digits. You can change the digits with the left key. And in my case, I'm going to make it 20,000. Now you'll see we'll use the up arrow to change the digit value and the left key to change between the digits. Once you're done, you can press enter. Now there are two ways to calibrate the load cell indicator. If you have the load cell certificate, you will find low and high millivolt values. The low millivolt value will almost always be zero. The high value will almost always be around two millivolts, but you can check on the load cell certificate and input that value. If you don't have the load cell certificate, you can use weights. First off is LC low. First, you'd want to empty your scale. Once it is emptied, you can press zero, enter and apply. It'll then count down. Please note that you have to keep the scale empty until it is done. Next, we'll do LC high. LC high would be the known weight that you have. For instance, if you have a known weight of 500 kilograms, you can put that on the scale. Then you can change this to 500 or whatever weight you have. Press enter, then apply and it'll count down. Once you've done that, your load cell indicator is calibrated. Next, you can go back using the print button. Go back to LC config. Once you're there, press the F3 key to you get to an out for analog out. Under analog out, we'll see different types 4 to 20, 0 to 10 volts, or 0 to 20 milliamps. For this exercise, we'll be using 4 to 20 milliamps. First off, we have an low. This is the amount of kilograms that you'll read on your indicator when you want to read 4 milliamps. Normally this will be around 0. 
Next is Anne High. This is the amount of kilograms that you want to read at 20 milliamps. Mine will be at full capacity, 20,000 kilograms. Meaning, at 4 milliamps, the scale will read 0, and at 20 milliamps, it would read 20,000. Once you've done that, you can connect it up to the milliamp or volt, if you are using volt, and common. To exit this menu, you hold in print, print, till you get to and out. Navigate to exit and press enter. Here you will see your values change. That concludes the introduction for today.